and welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot, and Buddy! Yes, it's Buddy! All right, I better put him down because he's uh, he's feeling a little feisty this morning. Yes, because it's Saturday. Yeah! So, and also it's the first week that I've been back for vacation, and boy, has he been just a lovely ball of fur. It's kind of interesting with animals. You, you, you know, you put human characteristics on them, and... But he is very, very much a big kid and very stubborn. In fact, right now you can probably hear him playing with something that's on my table. That's been an ongoing battle for the last two days. Yes. But I'm sure that you uh, didn't tune in just to hear about Buddy. You wanted to hear about my thoughts about all kinds of stuff. And, uh, yeah, well, let's see. What's going on in my world today? Well, a gout update. Gout, gout update 2015. So it's getting pretty good, um, other than a little bit of pain still in the left foot. It's kind of getting better, I guess. Well, I mean, I should say it is getting better. Um, it's just a really annoyance now. It's nothing like it was like a week ago. <laughs> Where, just think, a week ago today I was just leaving the ER. Which, hey, yay! Not in the ER, that's always a good thing. Other things that are on my mind are um, the boyfriend's coming in today. <sighs> That'll be good. Isn't that so cool? I get to say boyfriend. It's been a while since I got to say boyfriend. And so, yeah, he's coming in on his way. I forget where he's heading off to. He he travels a lot for work. So it's nice that Ohio is actually on his route to wherever he needs to go. Because um, his, his area is all around us. So it's kind of nice. And long distance relationship. It was interesting. Last week I got into this conversation with my ex and his current boyfriend. And I shouldn't say his current boyfriend has been with him for eight years, so I shouldn't say current, I guess, his boyfriend. Um, they have been together for, oh gosh, six or seven years, maybe eight years. I can't really remember how long it's been. And they actually started their relationship as a long-distance relationship. And they were, they were like, oh, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of things that go on with it. It's, it's very, very difficult. This is your first one, blah, blah, blah. I kind of like it. It's kind of neat. I never thought I'd be into a long-distance relationship, but I really am. Um, it's kind of nice. It's like Santa brings a man to me every every couple days. Yeah. It's like, I want to put a bow around him. It's kind of nice because he does wear bow ties a lot. Makes it easy to go shopping for him. That and socks. I buy him socks. I know. It's only been, like, almost three months, and I feel like an old married couple. Hmm. You know, in gay terms, that is kind of long-term. Speaking of gay relationships, that's the other subject I wanted to bring up, is we are on the countdown until the Supreme Court decision for marriage equality. Now, for a lot of people, this is not, for some reason, for a lot of people, this isn't a big deal. And it's such a huge big deal. I mean, I'm only 95% an American in regards to the equality rights for everyone else on that's heterosexual. I don't have the right to my state to actually marry somebody that I love. And when I was going through college, which I went to Kent State, I'm wearing my shirt this morning. Yeah, sorry I'm looking kind of haggard. And I got this glare going on with my glasses because you don't usually get to see me in my glasses, but I wanted to look studious. And in college, I never, ever, ever thought that marriage would be anything on my radar, that I would be even possible for me to get married. But now that possibility is like, so close. It's so, so close. We have so many states in the United States that now have marriage equality, but yet in the heart of America, we are still not allowed. It really sucks. So yeah, sorry the noise in the background because Buddy's deciding that now that I'm distracted that he's going to play with the stuff. Mm. I just love my little buddy. But back to the subject of marriage equality. It's so extremely important. So please go out there, campaign, share your thoughts on your social media sites, tweet, post it on Facebook, blog about it. Do everything you possibly can to really get out there and support the decision for marriage equality. We need this now because we need to be considered 100% equal rights in America. I am not a part-time American. I want to be a full-time American. I'd like all of the benefits that are given to everyone in the United States. So those are my thoughts today. A lot going on. And just wanted to get those out there into the vlogosphere and share them with the world. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. And go out there, give yourselves big bear hugs. Give everyone big bear hugs. And, you know, fight for marriage equality. And, uh... 
you know, just send me happy thoughts that Buddy will relax eventually. So until next time, bye, Cubman! I could count in the dark, I see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go.